College Prep. We're here today uh, to celebrate the signing of Joshua Robert. Dean of Joshua Robert. Of Joshua Robert. One word to describe me is just a fighter because I'm going to fight to the very end with anything. Um, nothing has been given to me. Everything I got, I've earned, and that's something I'm very proud of. He is very goofy. He doesn't know how to take a lot of, he doesn't know how to take things seriously. Everything is a joke to Josh. So, that's one word I would use to describe Josh. Fun. Uh, well, he is very funny. And the things he does, in my opinion, are quite hilarious. Me and our other friends in the group find that stuff very hilarious. In five years, I, I don't honestly know where I'll be because life is just such an unexpected journey. And sometimes you gotta ride away and then just let life take you where you're destined to be. So as long as I just really stay on the right path, you know, just keep my head up and know who I am. And I should be fine. But next year, I will be attending Lewis University in Romanville. It's a Division II school, NCAA. It's one of the top Division IIs in the country. They was in the top 25 last year. They won the conference. They won one of the top conferences in the country last year, so they got a good resume in winning. One thing I want to miss high school, especially at Western House, is really just um, competing to win something. I like try to win city, try to win state. Even though, you know, the odds were always against us. You know, just having like, you know, that mentality to try to win, it just made high school really worthwhile. One thing, one thing also we're missing was my teammates because, you know, my teammates, you know, they've been through a lot of wars for me, we've been through a lot of wars in practice, you know, we had fights. And it was just, it was just a blessing to be on my own doing it. I'm truly going to miss What I miss about Josh is a couple of things. Just getting to see him day in and day out of practice around school. His humor, always like lightening the mood. And then I just miss getting to watch him play on the court because when I'm a senior, I hope I can be in a situation like him. My biggest fear is just really just really losing sight of who I am and you know where I come from and just really just not taking the lessons I learned from home to the real world. That's just my biggest fear. But uh, more physical thing, you know, I'm kind of like scared, scared of insects and like spiders and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it ain't really nothing that really scares me. What motivates me to play basketball? I mean, I've been playing basketball like all my life. Like my first word was ball. And um, like always been around the game. My father used to coach at Bond Stupid when I was a kid. And I seen a lot of great players like Dan Burroughs, you know, Jamarcus Ellis, Sean Livingston, like a lot of great players. I've always been around the always been around the sport. My favorite movie is Space Jam when I was a little kid. And uh, I just always been around here. It's been a blessing being around here. I just want to be like those great players and you know to see what we do with the game. Um, Josh was an interesting person at first. I didn't know didn't know about him and he was real quiet, but I knew he was real good at basketball. But when I got on the court with him, uh, I could tell that he knew how to play basketball and he actually knew the sport. And as soon as like I played a couple like the first couple years we played together, we could create like a bond on the court. Uh, there are a lot of moments, but the best moment was probably city quarterfinals, I think, against Lincoln Park. It was a real tough game, a good atmosphere, a lot of fans. It was just well fought by both teams. The best moment I had with Josh was Encore was against like, Lincoln Park this year because we were down like six at the end of the game and like Josh, was, like, Josh, Josh came out of nowhere, he scored. He had a three-pointer, then he had two free throws, but the three-pointer kind of like made it like the year, like, like one of the, like, the best times of the year because he just came out of nowhere with that three-pointer. Oh, this is very difficult for a lot of players. Uh, a lot of people, they get lost in the loop. But I think one thing that will you know, stay the same is my work ethic and my heart. Because as long as I got that and I got that fighting spirit, my fight, that fighting spirit, I should be fine because Everything else is going to start clicking, you know, I'm going to keep getting better.